Hello friends, this video on wastewater story part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now why are we talking so much about cleaning the water? Why do we want to drink clean water? That's because we are scared of the pathogens. We are scared pathogens are nothing but the disease causing microorganisms. Those microorganisms which are capable of causing diseases. So a lot of bacteria cause a lot of diseases like cholera, typhoid, etc. And we are scared of such diseases. So some of the diseases caused by pathogens are typhoid, cholera, dysentery, polio, hepatitis, meningitis. These are some examples of diseases which are commonly spread by pathogens. So we have to ensure that the water is clean and the water is free from such pathogens. So let's talk about some of these diseases. So let's take typhoid. So typhoid is caused by a bacteria called Salmonella typhi. So this is that specific bacteria which is responsible for causing typhoid. Now, do you know how this pathogen or how this particular bacteria enters our body? So it enters through contaminated food and water. And therefore, it needs to be taken care that the water is very nicely treated in the sewage treatment plant. And the water should also be chlorinated and the tertiary treatment needs to be done so that there are no pathogens left in the water. And then once this uh, pathogen enters inside the body, it directly affects the small intestine. And small intestine is the one which is responsible for digestion and absorption of food. So that the entire process gets hampered. And as a result, some of the symptoms during typhoid are high fever, headache, weakness, stomachache, constipation, loss of appetite. So you tend to fall ill and you remain ill for quite a few weeks. So in order to avoid such situations, all we need to take care is cleanliness. How it is treated is, first of all, it has to be diagnosed with various blood tests and urine tests. And then it can be treated with a course of antibiotic medication. But as we all know, prevention is always better than cure. So we need to ensure that uh, uh, proper sanitation is maintained so that we do not allow microorganisms to breed there. We drink clean water and for that purpose, wastewater management is very important. You talk about cholera, it is caused by a bacteria called Vibrio cholerae and this also reaches our body through contaminated food and water. So poor sanitation is one of the major causes for cholera and cholera is a very common disease especially in the areas where proper sanitation facilities are not there. In a lot of remote areas even today proper clean toilets are not there. So a lot of people they defecate in open fields so that in itself is a, a very unhygienic condition which can give rise to a lot of diseases and that is why cholera is very common in such regions. So in cholera, uh, the patient tends to vomit, uh, diarrhea and weakness, too much of weakness, dehydration, the body gets completely dehydrated because you are vomiting, you are losing water, you are throwing stools number of times, again you are losing water. So the water content of the body tends to reduce. In fact, if a cholera becomes very severe, then their body becomes so dehydrated that the patient can even die. So cholera can become that deadly as well. So therefore, to treat cholera, it is very important that at the initial stage itself, the patient should drink plenty of fluids in order to avoid dehydration. And cleanliness is a must because if cleanliness is not maintained, it cannot be cured and it will become fatal. However, if, if it has already become severe, then there is no other way than antibiotic medication. You talk about dysentery. This is caused by a pathogen called protozoa and in Tamiba histolytica. So in this case also the pathogen enters the body through food and contaminated drinking water. So here a lot of insects act as the transmitting agent that is these insects they carry these pathogens from one person to another from or from one place to another. So normally housefly acts as a very popular transmitting agent. So if so let me give you the same example. So people who defecate in open fields. So when you have human excreta lying in the open field, it, there are chances that pathogens will be present there, microbes will grow there and these houseflies, they might sit on that uh, human excreta and the next moment it can sit on somebody's food and that's how it can contaminate the food and that person who eats that food will get that pathogen inside his body. 
so therefore it is very important that we take care of this so as you can see in, as you saw in this picture so the house fly it actually first sat on uh, some human excreta from there it picked up the pathogen and then it sat on somebody's food now when this person is going to eat this cake he is actually going to take that pathogen inside his body and he is going to suffer from dysentery it primarily affects the large intestine and during dysentery uh, there are abdominal cramps stools with blood and mucus constipation and it can be treated with antiamoebic drugs for intestine and liver but please do remember to maintain cleanliness so for each of these diseases cleanliness is a must for cure as well as prevention now why am i talking about these diseases is just to tell you that how important it is to ensure that the water which is available to us is clean enough and in order to en ensure that we need to manage the waste water very properly so the waste water should never be disposed directly into the water bodies because that will pollute the water of the entire water body thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again